Hi everyone, it's Miss Liz from the Heights Town Branch. I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to do some processed art. So we're going to be painting with something that's a little different than your typical painting. Um, we're going to be painting with tin foil, aluminum foil today. So you'll need some kind of paper. You'll need tin foil, aluminum foil. You'll need paint. You'll need um, some kind of place to put your paint, a uh, paper plate, a uh, plastic plate, and uh, you'll need uh, a workspace. So I made a couple different examples. I made something that was completely just paint, paint everywhere. You can see my different lines and scratches are from the tin foil. That might appeal to our younger kids covering that whole paper. And I made something with a little bit more of a goal in mind, a little bit more of an end sight image. Of course, I'm sticking with my rainbow theme. <laughs> okay, so follow along and you can see how to do different kind of paintings. I'm going to do a completely different painting for our um, video and I hope you have fun. So here we've got our setup. We've got our different kinds of paint. This is acrylic. You can also use tempera washable paint as well. I've got my construction paper. You can use regular printer paper as well. I would just go a little lighter on the paint since it's not going to absorb as much or watercolor paper you can use or any kind of cardstock. Um, and then of course, something to hold your paint, paper plate or I've got a plastic plate from the dollar store. So you wanna go ahead and pick whatever colors you wanna use. So again, processed art is more about the process, about making it than what you're actually gonna make. So I'm gonna put all the colors on here and see what I kind of end up with. So you might wanna, you know, just set aside some time to do this, put some music on and see what you come up with. If you have an idea, if you really like a certain animal or something, you might wanna to try to make that, but it's it doesn't have to be that you're working towards something specific. It could just be, you know, you're sitting, sitting down, it's a rainy day and you wanna create something and see what you come up with. I'm getting low on some of my paints here, whew. So, you know, I feel that we've done a lot of creative things while we've been at home. Hopefully you guys have too. So painting with tin foil is definitely not one of the things I thought I'd be doing, but it is pretty fun. All right. So I've got all my colors here. And now I'm going to get my tin foil. I'm just going to pull some out, crunch it up. The important thing here is you don't want to make it a very tight ball. You want to make sure you leave some space for those kind of little nooks and crannies to get some of the paint in. All right, that'll give you some more interesting designs. I'm kind of going to shape a little bit of a handle for myself too. And as you're dabbing into the paint, you're going to flatten down the sides of the, of the ball anyway. So for this painting, I think I'm just going to dip into the paint and kind of stamp around and see what happens. So this kind of process art is a lot easier for little kids because they're just happy to start going and see what they can make of it. Older kids, teens, adults, it's harder for us because we like to have an end in sight, a particular goal, a particular thing to work towards. But there are definitely some famous artists who went against that and said, you know what, I'm gonna see what I can make. And I gotta say, this looks pretty cool, especially up close. You can really see the textures and everything and you can see how the paint is mixing. I'm dipping into one, I'm dipping into the next color. I'm not washing it off, you know, I'm stamping a few times. So it's getting uh, different amounts of paint each time I stamp. So you never know what it's gonna look like. Each one is gonna be different. I've got all kinds of paint here <laughs> on my aluminum foil paintbrush, if you will. And I can stop whenever I want. I can color the whole thing. 
I can leave a bunch of white space. I can do whatever. So you just kind of go until you're done. A lot of younger kids, I'm sure, will cover the whole thing because, well, that's what's fun. <laughs> and older kids, teens, you might want to stop, leave some, some space, or might want to balance it out with some different colors. But, you know, just kind of see what happens. This would be a great design if you wanted to kind of maybe make your own wrapping paper for somebody or a greeting card or something like that. You know, we're getting really creative now because who's running to the store to get different things? So, of course, once you're finished, whoops, you're going to want to let it dry and then see what you want to do with it. If you want to leave it as a... Um, sheet of paper hanging up that's great if you want to maybe cut out a heart or some kind of shape and then right on the back you can send it to someone there's endless possibilities um, but the whole plan of this kind of processed art was how we're making it we're not using traditional paintbrush and uh, we're not sitting there and saying that's it I'm painting a bird we're gonna just see what happens so kind of let your mind wander all right, thanks so much for following along with me in this YouTube video for processed art with tinfoil painting. I hope you had fun, and I hope everyone's staying safe. Take care. Bye-bye.